Hey Pisces, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Lisa here. Speaking of which, I change my hair. I change it a lot. Get used to it. All right. Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope all is well. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get started. I come to you, humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Pisces Collective needs to know? For mid-August to the end of August. Thank you. What do they need to know? Now, I'm coming fresh off this Scorpio reading. I did try to take a break in between, but I just can't. I don't know. Like, the, the energy that I was feeling from the Scorpio reading, by the time I finished it, it was like, literally, literally I finished it and was like, okay, I'm going to do Pisces next. And immediately, my throat chakra just started activating, you know? And I just felt like this, that, you know that lump in your throat where you feel like you're about to cry? Yeah. It's that. All right, so we have correct your mistakes and reflect on your truth coming out. Uh, Scorpio also had reflect on your truth. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with the Scorpio. I actually tried to do a cancer first and then I got knocked into the Pisces. But yeah, I just can't seem to get rid of this. This activated energy in my throat. Like, I don't know if someone needs to talk or say something. Someone needs to have a good cry. I don't know. But I don't want to feel it. Okay, let's go. So we have correct your mistakes and reflect on your truth. So I guess we're still, as Pisces, you're still in course correcting mode, I'm assuming. Figuring out how to set better boundaries for yourself moving forward. If you haven't done that, please do. If you have done that, continue on the process. There's still more work to do. Isn't gonna apply to everyone. All right, so you have the Page of Wands coming out in reverse, along with the Five of Cups in reverse and the Judgment. Something not playing out the way you wanted it to. Trying to get over the regret of the past, making a final judgment call on the situation. Okay. Is this a new situation, or is this like still the same like really crappy ex that you had? Why is this judgment card here? Something's holding you back from making a final judgment call. Like making a final, when I say judgment call, it's like making a final decision. Based on everything that I've experienced right now, this is why I need to move on. Okay? Like that's simple. Why is this page of wands here? Hmm. Okay, um, so I'm going to suggest watching the um, the new moon in Leo reading because it talks about some potential like bad news or whatever or truth coming out that's going to finally give you closure and be the key to your happiness. I feel like that might apply here. That's what I'm getting here. All right. It's like if the energy of the new moon in Leo is like... Um, you already have an inkling of something. Let's say you had a crappy ex, but you still kept the door open and thought like, oh, maybe they'll change. But then there's a truth that's going to come out that's really going to bring it home and make you realize how deep the rabbit hole goes with this person. And it's going to help you realize how much you really have to let this person go. Okay, so some of you guys don't realize that you still had the energy open for this person to come back and redeem themselves or you are probably holding on to some type of hope okay and also you just didn't have the full picture so that's why you weren't able to make a final judgment call it seems like this new moon in leo is going to help you with that okay it's like if you if you left a relationship already but you you didn't get the full picture of how crappy they were if you had an inkling that they were cheating but that's not why you left. You left because they just wasn't making you happy, whatever the case is. But then you have this thing about like, but did they cheat or did they not? Whether they cheated or not doesn't matter. They weren't good for you, so you left, right? But because you, you still left a little bit of an opening because you still had this, this nagging, these nagging questions, you didn't get the closure or the confirmation on how crappy this person is. That seems like that's going to come about for everybody who couldn't i feel like a lot of you guys did start making progress in your healing all right but this is going to really help 
turbo boost you into your healing okay and with that it's like that's just human nature like it's just human nature like if you got the full closure like with anybody if you get the closure you'll be it'll be easier to begin the healing process but if you still have questions about how crappy someone is like how bad is it you know are they just half a shady or whole whole ass shady what i said whole ass whatever you get what i'm saying and they're just shady to their core you know what i mean so it's just, it's a difference in that and it's going to be a different in, a difference in your perspective and it's gonna it's gonna be a major key to help you actually close the door finally on this person and finally get your happiness okay or know what that happiness looks like for you oh the sun is going down it's making this light more dramatic i like it i'm here for it all right what else we got going on Mm. yeah it's gonna be no longer with that two of pentacles here it's juggling two of pentacles coming out in reverse you're no longer gonna juggle between these two like okay but they're crappy but are they i mean they didn't do this but they did do that did they cheat no they didn't or maybe they did you know you're not gonna go through that anymore you're gonna have this clarity and it's gonna finally give you the validation and closure that you need Okay, so if you if you thought that they were cheating, you're probably going to get that validation like, okay, they were cheating, you know, and you'll start that healing process. It won't be the easiest thing, but it it will be bittersweet, but it'll it'll finally crack open the new chapter for you, you know. It'll finally get you to the point. It'll it'll unlock you. It'll release you from this connection finally. For those of you who are having a hard time like finally letting loose, like letting getting yourself um Gripping your up. Uh, whoa. Why can I? <laughs> what's happening? Hold on. I'm, I'm releasing yourself from the connection. But I don't know what just happened. Speaking of unleashing, four of pentacles. See, it's like, it's something with the throat chakra energy, right? Like I said, when I first started the reading. And now, just now, I'm just like getting all speechless and dumbfounded. It's just like. It's going to give you more confidence in speaking your truth and setting boundaries and trusting your intuition. But I think I've said this in a couple of readings already. There's something about this that's going to unlock a new level of confidence in you, though. You might be more vocal about your needs. There's something about the throat chakra, okay, that it's, it's going to bring some healing. Maybe look up crystals for it. Okay, whatever. All right, what's going on? Pisces. Yeah, it's the end of, it's going to finally be the end of this chapter. Yes, yes, come on now. With the Fool card coming out, the Ten of Swords, yes. Finally putting an end to this chapter. So you're not meeting new people and finding the same, same BS in other people. You know, you're finally learning the lesson and it's going to give you the confidence like, I knew it. I was right. This person was that. They was exactly that. And when I thought that happened back in 2008, when they said that they didn't, they were st stuck at work, <laughs> I knew that they were cheating. You know, you're going to get that validation, that level of validation where you can finally just trust your intuition, know what's your intuition now and what's paranoia, right? <laughs> you might still have to work through that, but you're going to at least know that your intuition's on point. It's going to give you a new level of confidence and make you feel, um, it's going to elevate you. That fool card. It's going to be a new beginning. That's great. Now we do have the Queen of Swords coming out in reverse. I don't know why that's happening. Don't go into denial mode. Holy cow, please don't. So the Queen of Swords is like having major clarity here. Okay. Some of you guys, you might have been cordial. Okay. You might have saved face um, in public. Maybe you guys shared a, the same social circle, something like that. It's like it's going to make you put an end to that as well. Okay. You might start telling people like, okay, no, this person cheated on me, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever the case is. But it's going to finally allow you to close the door here. 
and realize that this soulmate connection is actually a broken one. You're not going to feel the regret of it anymore. All right? It's something about that that's going to happen, which is great. All right, let's see what the blockages are. All right, so this does seem like you'll be turning a new leaf, okay, with the new moon in Leo, which is great. All right, what's the blockage? What are they failing to see? And what's the advice? Alright, this is for some of you guys. Some of you guys might have used a social circle to still stay close to the person. Because you're still leaving the door open. That's about to stop. You didn't realize you were doing things because you were still you were still carrying hope. For this person to redeem themselves, redeem themselves. You're going to realize that there's no redeeming. All right, what's the blockage? <clears throat> That's why you have to correct your mistakes. Okay, some of you guys didn't go through the healing process. You didn't realize that you weren't really closing the door on this person. All right. There's a need to be honest with yourself about this. The, the moves that you might have been making for some of you guys, like I said, if you already, if you guys were in the same social circle and you still said, well, I'm still hang around. Those are my friends too. You know, really, you were just doing that to keep the person around, still stay in the loop. All right, what's the blockage? That's for some of you guys. But if it's not that, then it's something along those lines where you kind of use something. It's something about the public. I, I do feel like it's like a, whatever. Something about the social circle. Blockage. And now it's time to get to work. Now it's time to get to work on that heart space, okay? You can finally get the final, you know, the final details. I feel like some of you guys already started doing the healing, but this is going to give you, like, the... This is going to give you, like, the the, the the meticulous details, you know, just wrapping it up. I don't know why I'm at a loss for words with this reading. We have the Queen of Swords coming down in reverse again. See, I don't know if you're going to catch this person red-handed and they'll just be like... You might get an intuitive hit. Or you might catch them saying something and then they'll be like, they just can't really talk or something like that. Something about not speaking is happening there. It's weird. I might catch them in a lie they'll just be speechless like the but but it's like nah gotcha <laughs> why's well, a page of cups here now don't go over there trying to catch them in a lie i feel like it's something that'll happen organically like you'll either get this intuitive hit for some of you guys you might just overhear something and it'll finally click like okay and it'll give you the clarification that you need I don't think you're going to get much of an apology, all right? You're still going to get the closure, though. You're going to get the closure without the apology. Let's clean the swords here. Yeah, the biggest blockage is just making a final judgment call on this person for who they actually are. Knowing how deep the rabbit hole goes with this person. Knowing how deep, how crappy they actually are, or how toxic they were. Um, if this isn't a person, it's just a matter of just whatever situation where you were ignoring your intuition. You're going to get the clarity so that you can actually follow it. Okay. The fact that you're not making a final judgment call on whatever the situation is, is not helping your happiness. The lack of making a judgment call and making a final decision that you need to cut this thing out or close the door, that's what's making you unhappy. You have to start the healing process by finally making that switch in your mind to actually close the door. Like, I don't even, even if they change, I don't want them to come back. Like, 
that type of energy even if you see that they look like they're changing it's like even if they change i don't want them back okay that's the energy you need to get into like completely closing the door on them the lack of doing that is just leading to you know just um unhappy unhappy situations or unhappy an unhappy state Hi, Priestess, you already know what's up. Yeah, it's going to be an, an intuitive hit. It's like something's just going to click, all right? So definitely watch a new moon in Leo. This is definitely mirroring that, that reading a lot. This might lead to a major purge, okay? Where you can finally get the clarity and then finally release the pain of it. Begin the healing, begin the purging, okay? So we have the high priestess coming out in reverse. Everything that you need to know, you're about to know. All right. Yeah. So it's like you you had an inkling. You're just trying to figure out whether it was, whether it wasn't, what was it, what happened, and like you're gonna get that boom, get that clarity. It's gonna lead you into a new. Um, Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands is going to push you into a new cycle of passion, a new way of loving, okay? You're going to kill whatever this old plan is that you had in your mind, this old hope that you might have carried um, in a stealthy manner. You probably hid that from yourself, the secret hope, you know, of them redeeming themselves. You're no longer thinking about that. That's what's going to happen next. That's what you're feeling to see. This intuitive hit is going to lead you into this new passionate frequency, okay? Which is great. Because you're no longer giving energy to that person. You didn't realize. Some of you guys didn't realize you were still giving them energy. With the Nine of Wands coming out in reverse. You were still carrying that. You were still giving them kind of some power. Like if they came correct. Even some of you guys if you said you were done. Even if they came back and they came correct. For you know. For like a month. You would have been like okay. You know we got back together. You're being led to cut that out. Like, that's, that's a mistake you have to correct. And the reason why you left that door open is because you didn't really reflect on who this person really is, okay? Wow, with the Seven of Pentacles, back to that reflection. Look, when you do close this door on this person, you're not going to have regrets. There's going to be no looking back. You're going to be able to drop this victim mentality, okay, or this um, this struggle. It's like, whether it's a victim mentality or just a struggle mentality, this chip on your shoulder, whatever this energy is, is baggage that you're carrying because you didn't close out. And partially, you didn't close out just because you didn't get the closure from this person, all right? So it made it a little bit, close, uh, a little bit harder to close it out. Which is understandable, you know, be compassionate with yourself about that. Like I said, that's human. Okay, it's just making, it's taking just a bit longer for you to heal because you're, this person is still, you know, they didn't give you the, they didn't really admit to who they were. But that's where the intuition's coming in. <coughs> Why is this high priestess here? It's something about the throat. It's something about speaking up or expression, something that's happening. Speaking the truth. Oh, uh, reflecting the truth. Okay, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, reflecting the truth. And honoring it and speaking it. Expressing it, whether it's by crying it out or telling them off. Whatever it is. I'm not suggesting you tell them off. I don't see that happening, but, I mean, it's possible. Um, but it's just a need to express it, even if it's expressing it to yourself. Okay, like I said, I feel like some of you guys are putting layers on top of layers of your feelings and not really admitting like everything that you've been doing was because you're holding on to some hope. Okay, that there's a need for you to actually reflect on that. Yeah, then you can just close out this expectation for closure, expectation for this apology, expectation for them to be better, you know, that whole thing. The intuitive hit is going to help you with that, which is great. Again, watch that new moon in Leo reading, okay? All right, let's see what uh, the animal spirit is.
animal spirit. I forgot I want to have a jingle every time I switch to a new spread. I gotta work on that. Animal spirit. I was about to keep going. I had to hold back. I'm trying to pull back. All right. Power, power animal. I'm just singing it in my head like a psycho. All right. What's the power animal? All right. Um, yeah. Total spirit. Slow and steady, steady wins the race. The healing is not done yet. Okay. Even if you feel like it, it's not done. There's layers. There's layers to this. You put on some inception type ish. You, you put some layers on this thing where you have to kind of break down. You put some locked doors on some feelings like clink clink okay done clink clink done but now you got to unlock them embrace it go down to the next level unlock go down to the basement go down to the cellar you know unlock and and let it out okay i feel like there might be a major purging that comes from this intuitive hit which is great um be compassionate with yourself this is a slow process it is a slow healing it's fine it's fine be compassionate with yourself about this but it's going to put you in your power Stack spirit taking the lead, okay. Um, it's gonna give you this intuitive is gonna put the fire under your ass. Uh, will spirit trust the great mystery here. There's some new things on the horizon here, um, with that ace of wands coming through for sure. Um, but you gotta go through this bit of a purge so you can, you know, kind of dump have an emotional dump. That sounded disgusting, but whatever, you get what I'm saying, dumping your stuff emotionally dumping your stuff emotionally so that you can actually you know get the new stuff coming in getting an emotional colon cleanse that was bad all right you get what i'm saying what's going on oh healing okay we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents now this could be you know obviously about the family uh this can also be mm, uh, so when you go through when you start unlocking doors, the layers, the layers of probably heartbreak and pain that came from this one situation, you might start exploring other things, you know, the shadow work, the things that came from childhood, you know, um, it's things like that that might happen. You might start exploring like deeper issues that, um, or deeper emotional baggage that you, pro you probably thought you got you handle you didn't handle it you just kind of locked it away okay so that's what's gonna happen back to that's gonna be a process okay you're gonna be pushing to doing shadow work do not neglect it do not deny that do not rush into anything else separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon it's about goddamn time all right for some of you guys yeah it's about releasing yourself from this connection already even if they're not in your life anymore somehow they're still energetically connected and you keep you're keeping that connection there all right so it's time to separate yourself once and for all here retreat at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> there's going to be an inclination to ignore your intuition here heart to heart conversations yeah honestly discuss your feelings with each other now this can be you know i mean if if you want to tell this person how you feel, I just, I wouldn't really recommend that. If that happens organically, fine. If this person actually comes through with an apology, great. Don't look for that. You're going to get this intuitive hit. This heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I feel like it's about honestly expressing your truth. All right? Reflecting on your truth. Honestly, having a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself. Apologizing to yourself. Giving yourself the closure. You're going to get the information that you need to do so. All right. I feel like that's needed here. Honestly, express your feelings. How you feel. It's okay to feel hurt. It's okay that this is a process. It's okay that they hurt you. They were a piece of crap and you still love them. Human. It's okay. But you have to admit to that so you can begin the process. 24, 24 just popped up. Okay. So, bottom line, there's layers. You, you have incepted yourself, which takes a lot of skill. So, congrats to you. And a lot of, uh, yeah, emotional grit. Um, but now it's time to purge that. All right? Why am I using movie references? Purge, Inception. I don't know. But, 
<laughs> you guys got this, Pisces, all right? Thank you so much. I'm going to pull from the Archangel Michael deck. I feel like we need a prayer here. This just feels like heavy energy, especially going into shadow work. That's not fun. That's not fun. Especially when you, you're like, oh, yeah, I want to do the healing for my relationship. And then you got to start dealing with the healing of childhood stuff. You know, it's like, okay, well, I did not mean to open up this can of worms. But it seems like that's what's about to happen. All right. And it needs to. It needs to. It's going to open up that Ace of Wands energy, that new passionate path, which is great. We do have right your thoughts and feelings. This is once again, yeah, there's a need for you to express how you feel to yourself. Be honest with how you feel. That's the first step in healing these feelings is admitting that you feel this. Okay. Some of you guys are moving like you, you, you already, you just got over this person and you're not. All right. Journal, meditate, start doing some, doing some real work. It's time to get to work for real. All right. And if you already got to work, then it's time to go down on a deeper level. Okay. Lean on God and your angels for support. Yeah, I do feel like this is going to be a little bit of a rough emotional road um, should you decide to take it. Red pill or blue pill? Matrix reference. <laughs> Maybe you guys are watching a lot of movies. What the f What's going on here? Anyway, start praying more. All right, get more in touch with you. Start being more introspective, meditating and all that, okay? 26-22. <sighs> there's a need to let go that sigh there's a need to finally let go you've been struggling with this situation for a long time you've been harboring a lot of like emotional baggage probably outside of this one relationship it's probably uh, is definitely a, is layers of it and it's time to finally finally let it go all right so congratulations to you in advance but also i'm 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 asking um that you you call on God or angels or your guides whatever it is for support in this time okay um, shadow work is not easy but it's time for the Pisces collective to do it you'll be better off for it you already know that you know you'll be better off for it all right done have confidence have confidence and innocence, okay? Once again, be compassionate with yourself as you go through the shadow work, okay? That's a really important one. Uh, when you're going through the shadow work and you start seeing, like, the, the dark crevices of your mind and you start seeing how you moved in the world and what you've attracted or what, what you allowed or the things that have happened to you, be compassionate with the things that you can control and you feel like, oh, I could have done that better, please be compassionate with yourself here, okay? And then have confidence that you... You, the awareness that you're gaining from this and the healing that you're gaining from this is going to make you better. Have confidence in the fact that this shadow work is important work for you, okay? And that you do need to, you actually do need to build up this confidence in your intuition and in your emotional space, okay? Mm. It's heavy energy. All right, well, um, you guys got this. Keep praying. I'm going to read the prayer. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation now and completely. I step out of my way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Okay? Journal. Journal. Pray. Forgive yourself. Journal. Pray. Forgive yourself. Okay? Begin that healing. All right. Let's get to it. All right, Pisces, you guys got this. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG. And if you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. And uh, thank you so much for the, to the Patreons, Patreons, Patrons, already. <laughs> and until we meet again, peace.